You ever have one of those times where you just really can't figure out why in the world a manufacturer did something the exact way they did it? Well, that's what I ran into on this 2001 Ranger that I was supposed to be doing the simple job of putting a valve cover on. Sorry, not a valve cover, a valve cover casket. So, to do the valve cover gasket, the intake has to come off. And that's what I thought was going to be the hardest part of the job. Turns out, I was wrong. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is the valve cover. I don't know, you guys can't really see it. And these are the, the holes where the bolts go through. Now, the bolts on this valve cover are a setup that's not too horribly uncommon. It's got this little grommet right here on a, and a collar. And the way these are supposed to, to work for this is this collar right here, uh, the metal piece in the middle, that's actually what limits how far the bolt can go down. It sits right up against the head of the bolt, and when the bolt is uh, tightened in uh, to the cylinder head, it sits down right against the cylinder head. That limits it so that when you tighten this uh, valve cover down, you can only squish that seal so far. It only goes so far and you don't end up squishing it down so far you split it out. And then this grommet which actually sits around that and flush up against the uh, head of the of the bolt as well is what sits down on top of the valve cover and the, the torque to the valve cover is applied through this. The problem is these get old and they get brittle. This one's not in horrible shape it, it, and, and this one's actually going to be reused. But they break and when I pulled this off, one of them was just completely chipped out, gone, missing most all of it. Uh, the other ones were missing huge chunks. Um, and then one of them actually was missing, oh sorry, one of them actually was missing this collar on the middle. I, whoever put it in to, last time, it wasn't even there uh, because it was the only bolt when I pulled it out that actually came all the way out uh, and didn't stick in there until I pulled the valve cover off. Um, and these kind of catch, they have a lip that holds right there. So I was stuck with the uh, proposition of this failing very quickly if I tried to go back together with these grommets that had failed and that, but nobody makes these. I, I searched every part store I could find. Uh, I searched online. What I did find was that you, uh, even back when they were available from like Ford, you could buy the bolt, but the bolt was obnoxiously priced. And even still, if you can find these bolts, like a new old stock, uh, or people that have them, and these bolts are like 25 bucks a piece. And I thought, I thought that was just absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, and the only ones I could find, I mean, you're paying 25 bucks or so a piece plus shipping, plus they didn't ship for like two weeks, and this guy needed his, his truck back. So, uh, I kind of gave up on finding a replacement and I decided that I had to manufacture a replacement. I am not typically the kind to try to, you know, just botch stuff together. I did my best. So I want to walk you through here, breaking this down. This is the bolt that goes through. This is the piece that slides around there. But this collar, the, the grommet, sits in there. This goes up and then it sits down over it like that. So I hope you saw that. Anyway, grommet goes on and then this goes on past that little lip. And that's how that whole piece goes together. So knowing that this is what sets the space of how far that can tighten down. And that when it's on there, it will butt right up against the head of the bolt. And that this... This also sits against the bolt, but lets that uh, sleeve go through the middle. I had all the information that I needed uh, to go ahead and and find a way to make this. So what I what I did is 
breaking this down, the outside of this is nine or sorry, nine point seven millimeters, I believe. Oh, sorry, no, nine point one. This is nine point one millimeters, and the inside. And I know you know imperfect measurements, but they are a little bit over uh, six point five millimeters. Uh, so. I knew, but knowing what this does, I knew that those didn't have to be exact. This has to fit through the hole in the valve cover, and it has to fit through the the hole in the uh, in the valve cover gasket, and it has to fit snug. And then this, I was stuck trying to see if I could find grommets for some something else. What I came up with was this. Well, let's go a piece at a time. This started life as <laughs> there it is trying to find it all right it started life as a there we go a one quarter by three eighths by one inch little hollow tube thing that i got from lowe's so I took this and I wasn't, I, I checked it to make sure, I wasn't too worried about the outside dimension. It's a little bit bigger than 9.1, I think it was closer to 9.5 millimeters. Um, and I, I did turn it down right up here just a little bit at the top edge just to make sure that it would fit inside the washer that we were using. Uh, and then the inside has clearance. And I checked it to make sure that it fits through, but fits snugly in the uh, in the valve cover gasket, which it does. It fits nice and snug. I took this and I measured this down to the a there we go. The average was between some of them were a little bit below 13.6. Some of them were there. Some were almost 13.8. So about 13.7 millimeters. In height so I cut this and I filed it down to be right there at the same height range right there real close that one's actually measuring a little shorter but because uh, I measured all uh, all of the ones that I had of these and I went right in the middle of that you know the range that they were so it will fit between the gasket and it, the bolt will fit through it. It doesn't lock to the bolt, but it will provide the correct spacing because the bolt will still butt up against it, and this will, will still butt up against the to upper surface of the cylinder head and stop it at the right height to crush that gasket correctly. Now, this started life uh, as a rubber grommet that I also picked up from Lowe's. Uh, 5 8 uh, outside diameter and a 5 16 inside diameter. And I'll show you. Uh, it was basically this side. They had another one on this, so I just took a razor blade and cut it flush with the other side, and it left that little lip right there and that lip will fit down inside the holes on the valve cover so then I took a washer and I had this washer I think maybe it's a 3 8 washer but uh, no it's probably a yeah maybe a 3 8 washer but oh sorry it goes on the other side but it sets it does not curve down around but it it serves every function that that other bolt serves. Let me make sure this is focused here. The bolt goes on there, right? The washer serves the same function as this upper portion, and the cut grommet serves the same function as the isolator on there. And then this piece with the ground, slightly ground upper uh, 
bit. Sorry, I'm trying to juggle this <laughs> and, and show you at the same time. This piece, it is a snug fit. And if you wanted to open it up again a little, you could. It fits down around there. And then this piece, I actually uh, used a step-up drill bit to open that inside up just a little bit. It will fit down around there. Then the bolt will fit right through there. And this, when tightened down, will perform the exact same function that this bolt that this bolt here will perform. You'll be able to tell that something's different when you look at it, but it will perform the same function. So, I know, I got really frustrated by the fact that Ford doesn't offer this. Nobody in the aftermarket offers it. Um, the only way you get it is to buy whole new bolts at $25 a piece. If for whatever reason you had to replace all with 14 of these bolts, that would be just insane to spend that much money on a set of bolts. Uh, I've actually heard, you know, looking into this, I've heard of people who got rid of these trucks over this issue. Um, but now, I'm not saying that this is definitely ever run into this ish issue, this is the only way to solve it, but this is how I did it, and I'm confident that it's gonna work and it's gonna be just fine. Um, after I put it back together, I'm gonna run it, make sure there's no leaks, double check everything. But given that the measurements are uh, the ones that can be fudged a little are fudged just a little bit, but the ones that are important are precise. They're right there. Uh, I'm confident that this is going to do the job uh, just as an original bolt would have. So uh, I hope that if you're having this problem, it helps you. But uh, on the other side of that, if any of you have a resource to purchase new grommets, those new, uh, you know, the, the whole the replacement collars, those, if anybody knows of a place where you can get these for these 2.3 liters on the Rangers and the Mazdas, uh, put it in the comments, please. Let let us know. Help us out so that uh, no one else has to fight this thing as much as I had to fight it over the past week or so. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch the video through to the end. And uh, meet me in the next video and we'll keep on learning.